Hey guys, I'm super excited today because we are at Beijing Hobby Expo and this is the expo that everyone look forward to visit because they're all hobby grade RC models and another new WPL's product will be reviewed here but the person holding it uh, haven't arrived yet. Now let's get inside and look at this beautiful place. My god. I mean, you have already impressed uh, before you go in. Now let's follow me to go inside. Look at the very tall doors here. I was so excited as I walk in. See, look at this. All this hobby grade RC. I mean, there are a lot of uh, expo in China, but they are mostly uh, toys grade kind of hobby. Toy Street kind of products, but you see kilo bodies here. Uh, this, what are they? Is it Transformer or something? And surprisingly, even Futaba is here. This is a Japanese brand, right? And East Sky, the Good Sky there. So very long, very, very long brand. And we got FMS for my audience. So they make very quality. RCA planes and cars, so 19 years brand. See so very very high quality RC planes. And they're all big in size, costing minimum 399 US dollar. Wow, so FMS has two booths. One is radio control plane and another is uh, the RC car section. Highly detailed army jeep. And the actual one, and this is the one six. Look at that beautiful, so high quality and uh, high price as well. Mm. The kids, the kids who are playing. So these are the 124 scale section, high quality, and the license as well. Radio Link and Double RC, both are Chinese brands. Fly Sky, this guy is insane. The F 450 size, a 450 size in indoor doing aerobatics. <laughs> that that felt a bit scary. Come on, another flip, flip, flip. Wow, almost a TikTok. Amazing. Oh, Brussels Moto manufacturers. So everyone is surprised that. Uh, Pro Japanese brand also uh, exhibiting here this year. Cars that we won, but we can't afford. Mini Z series and look at that Senna. Wow. Banana RC, what is it? I think it's an, oh, it's uh, an app. We have FR Sky here, and so happened I was uh, sitting across the guy, all the staff uh, across the table yesterday. So that's the one. Emacs, and I was told also. Uh, surprisingly, Emacs is exhibiting this year. They're well known for making servos for RC planes. Well, let's go check it out. This was really nice to fly.
Oh, that's a huge drone. There are three halls and we are still in the first hall. And I'm sure you have seen so many familiar brands. If you are watching my channel, these are brands that I've seen before. For my car, RC car, also RC airplane uh, channel. I have hot RC, so they make uh, radio controls. I thought they make um, chargers as well. I'm glad I came, although the flight ticket was rather expensive. Okay, Horizon Hobby. What is this? MJLRC. I think they are the distributor for multiple US brands. There's some smaller booth here as well. What? KDM Racing. Interesting chassis. Oh, that's a very good looking bike chassis. Uh, the Blue Fly. Uh, this is Huang's uh, favorite. This is the radio that he's using for his uh, radio control plane. There's so many booths. And Turbo Racing. All of you know Turbo Racing. Looks like they have a new layout. This looks very nice. Doing live here. Wow, that's a cool city. Oh, wow, that's even a racing sim. Oh, they're actually driving the actual car. So I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one with the PV over there. And battery makers and our good friend here pinecone come visit them if you are here they are at the center hall but on the left corner whoa lc racing is here too a propeller maker and they make rather large propeller the smaller one as well so i wonder if these are for the real the actual full scale and there are robotic booth as well. Chargers. Yeah, two kit RCs. This is two kit RCs booth. Hobby details. What about this is? Oh, two supplier. They keep pestering people around the world. Fly color. Oh, ESC maker. This layout looks good. Looks like a Grand Prix setup. So Pinecone is revealing few new models as well and this is one of it. <laughs> they also took the actual thing over here. According to them, this will be for even wider market. Uh, 8 plus above rather than 14 plus above. So it will be suitable for kids as well. And hence, I was told the speed wouldn't be that fast. Spec-wise, performance is not confirmed yet as this will be released uh, about end of May. So the configuration, the power, the performance spec are all to be confirmed. Like whether if this is 2S or not, still to be confirmed. We can see a very detailed, highly detailed interior inside. I wonder how they squeeze all the electronics within this because the interior has taken so much space inside. This is still not a fully ready production model yet, as you can see. There's prototype absorber inside. And you can see wiring, so I believe electronics is stuck uh, at the front. Plastic dry shaft, front is an open diff, rear is open diff as well. It's not fully ready yet. So the battery compartment is actually here. There's a 2S lithium ion battery as well. So this is a 900 mAh 2 cell. It would be fun if we make it brushless, doing jumps over the sand and desert. And there's a white color version. Which do you prefer? Uh, another new product is this one, but basically it's just the change of uh, the body shell. The chassis is the same as the ready car we reviewed earlier. These are the anticipated ones, they are 110 scale. Basically, I think I see 5 models here, all 110, uh, with different body shell, different features. This one has a police light over it, and this one has an adjustable tail. You can, you can manually adjust the angle at the back. This one has some accessories, and this one actually has a retractable headlight cover. So that would be a sim. I think this is the simplest version, and this is the one with accessory in front. This supercharger intake, and this was some kind of machine that you can see on the Fast and Furious movie. And this is the wicked one. This is my favorite with this gravity, and this is a race up version. It has a different upper and lower suspension arm compared to this one. 
see they have a different suspension that is raised with a winter already tires this is on road and it's lower in height as well and this is you using the old style pin for securing the body shell but the new one is using this clip over here let me show you how it's done just squeeze it just like the fms one and then release it from the back and you can see there's light control over here and also this is included the version with the adjustable spoiler there's a servo over here this one has a retractable headlight cover there's also a servo at the front I think it's not matured yet but let's give it a try and it's open let's try to close it <laughs> it's working well they have that sort of like a wing because they are not that sync but it works it's so cool Suspension wise, what do you call this? I've forgotten, I've always forgotten this type of uh, flat horizontal version car suspension. There's a 540 or 550 motor all in one ESC with the receiver and also the light control lines over there. And suspension, I think this is the version that I would prefer because of this wicked, very cool looking kind of look with this winter tires. It's a taller in height as well. And then this will be very fun to jump around, drive it on any terrain, any surface. Battery looks like it comes with their own box style. It should be a 2S LiPo battery. Then you can plug it over here. But I believe you can use your own LiPo battery as well. Because this is not fixed. Metal center shaft and also metal dry shaft. Front and back, which is a good thing. Adjustable tie rod for the toe in and toe out. Metal chassis. This is a cool looking feature. It looks like a fuel tank. Allen key screws. You love this, right? There's exhaust detail at the diffuser. So the center shaft is rather unique. This one goes horizontally straight, and then it just at an angle go down with a dog bone over there. So the input shaft, the input gear is actually at an angle. Uh, same thing for the front as well. I would love to get one of these, man. Wonder if there's other color as well. This looks super cool. I'm not sure if it looks the same in the video. There's a roof rack. <laughs> Damn cool, man. Rather than just the body shaft, they also added the roof, which in terms of production to create this mold is actually very very expensive plus this is 110 scale and maybe someone can add details over here with a moving belt and also hey the valve is actually movable so you can add a servo to make it move the wiper as well and bloody cool fender this however could be an issue as there are more shock travel but it's hitting the fender both front and also the back so this is soon to be released the price is not finalized yet so watch out for my channel or asia rcd pod to find out have you got one of these? Alright, this car is here but the part behind it is not here yet. The person holding is not here yet. So these are Hongguan, the company that makes the 1X scale RC. A very high detail RC including this as well, this super beast. WPL put some of the products over here as well, the new D32 and D32 if you have not seen them before. Oh, I love this. This is from Feiyue. I believe it has been in the market for some time already. It's 112 scale. And I was at the uh, Hunglung's factory. They're gonna make one at, I think, 116 scale. I've seen the prototype, which is very, very similar to this as well. I don't think I have any short costs yet. This can be considered if the price is okay or oh, wait for the one from Hang Lung. So this is a larger size 110 or 1 XQ pine cone and also the 124 with a metal body and the big bees as well. Six by six. Now we are at a second hall, which is left side to the one in the middle. You see double eagle. You see double eagle hobby here or short form double E. So have, they are well known for this construction models, mostly construction model. Oh, OEM for Horizon Hobby. So they are the OEM factory. Really large model. I think this is 2.4 meter. Oh, it's a two meter wingspan. Should be licensed model. The Draco 2.0. This is ultra power. Uh, charger, battery, manufacturer, and these are all large, very large scale construction models. This is insane, man. There is Mercedes, Volvo, and man. This is, wow, this is, this is serious stuff. Check this out. So many channels with, this actually has, has a speaker and multiple gears. Crazy. This is huge, man. It's 
are all the big kids. And cable light, this is new to me, probably because they are into it. construction models. And Dynam, oh not, oh this is Dynam, Dynam RC, is this, is this a US brand or, I think it's a US brand right, it's P51, I think 1 meter wingspan, some really cool warbirds up there, this one looks amazing, really short wing, twin EDF, this would go really fast, do you know what this is, post in the comment, we got Hung Long, and you wouldn't believe what they have brought over to the exhibition. A freaking real full-size, full-scale tank. You are crazy, man. With the dirt attached as well. So Hung Long is well known for the 116 scale RC tank with uh, very good details. See, this is, a, this is a real thing. This is a real thing, right? It's crazy. They took up such a large booth. Half of it just to put a real tank here. You are crazy. I mean, you have seen a model, a 116 version of this, but this is the first time I'm seeing an actual 1-1 scale tracks attached to it. Wow, damn lot of tank model. I have that one, the Leopard 2A6, a German tank, right? A high-speed modern tank. And that's the MA2 or MA2M. I would wish to get one of these because it looks like a metal slug tank. Oh, that's a smaller version. Well, do they sell this or it's just for display? Probably uh, Hung Long as well, not sure. And we have someone dressed in a uh, army uniform. I think that's a one-fifth scale. So for my RC plane audience, we have uh, XK models here. I think XK belongs to WL Toys, right? Uh, the typical models, the famous one. Oh my god, Hong Long has another booth. So I guess they made a lot of money. Uh. Actual battlefield. I guess these enthusiasts are gonna do an actual battle over here. Possibly another real tank. Uh, this looks like a working tank track with some dirt on it. A PVC no hobby. Oh, FPV race car. Oh, race track. I think this will be very tough to race on. This is a track surface. It's so tight. So the track is here. I think mean, they are controlling it from the booth across. This is gonna be tough. So look at the simulator they are using, the steering wheel they're using, the boat. My good friends both Key Wing, they are such a nice people, really taking care of me in China. So this is the T1, the most popular, their most popular plane I would say. Uh, apart from that, which is their high speed plane. I think you could do a 220 km per hour. This is a VTOL version. Uh, you can transform your T1 from normal one to a VTOL by purchasing their VTOL kit. And this is the series for the beginners. There's also Lico. And T1 and Exploded wheel, this is super cool. The boss says since they can sell parts by parts, so they can display this like this in an Exploded wheel. And I love it, they actually display two colors, black and white, red and both black on the left and right side. This is super cool. On one side is the fuselage, and the other side is like the landing gear. And I love that they actually label it rather than just putting it up really detailed. And this is a high speed wing. And these are gonna be released soon, the beginning series. I have not built them yet, I'm gonna be go back to my country then I can build it. And this is a radio for the beginning series. This is a new flight controller, F405 base, pre-loaded with autopilot. You just need to buy one and uh, hook up your radio and it can do VTOL out of the box. So what you're seeing here, this is a PMP version of the T1 VTOL. As you can see, the flight controller is already installed here. There's a GPS up front, so oh, this could be a breakthrough because you guys love the T1, right? And this comes right out of the box as a PMP. <laughs> this is a 5-inch propeller from Jumpfan. 
Metal Gear Tube Turbo. It's all Metal Gears inside. So look at this uh, flight controller. This is so tiny, man. Better than using an F45, which is almost double the size. So the bottom plate here, you can see this PCB as well for uh, multiple PC output. 9 volt for your flight controller, 5 volt for your turbo, and an uh, input of 2 success. So just like the typical F405 flight controller. So this is the GPS that it comes with, the BN250Q. That means this one has a compass inside, and the uh, price difference compared to 220 is huge. So a power supply board uh, supply the power through the, those red wires you see over there, the PMU. The power module unit. Colorful one is the GPS wires. So to develop this PMP VTOL, they have spent half a year to fine tune this new board. Some of you guys may have seen this video, and this is exactly the reason why T1 is created, is to do this our puck flying. Because of this durability of the foam and also easily detectable, so during a flight it will just come off. And if not, then there are parts available on their official store. So no worry about doing this while flying. 6F Racing Simulator. That's damn cool, man. You can race up. Also, oh, that's for the car, that's for the flight. Oh, looks like they're running on a Microsoft Flight Sim, the latest one, 2020. Look at those buttons over there. Oh, tiny whoop. You see those gates? I think this is a uh, PMP ready to fly tiny whoop. Oh, these are all the funky looking tiny whoop uh, frame they're selling. Ah, uh, I fly. Ah, oh, no problem. No problem. No problem. 然后, so this is Hobby Wing booth. They make ESC, well known for that. It's freaking big ESC and the motto. No, for one four scale RC cars. This is a pretty large booth, man. This is for us, the big kids. Like this is a heaven for us, big kids. T Moto, uh, well known for their high quality, uh, high performance RC plane propulsion system. The motors, brushless. Yeah, there's a display there. Oh, fully max batteries. Oh, that's so big and long. That's chop ass. Oh, train tracks. Oh, EDF manufacturers. And uh, Hota, the charger manufacturer, very similar to uh, IMAX. Oh, Balsa wood maker. And some more drones. And uh, RC cars, Guangdong Jian Jian. Or the JJ RC or what? And the propellers makers. Ah, uh, that's the new model, right? This is the one, uh, but with a bit funny out of portion. Shot cost. Oh, Hawkeye! They make um, FPV monitors. This is crazy, man. They're large scale battleships. Insane. Summer's B24, the B36. <laughs> On the moon. Oh, this is made by King Kong RC. Wow. And even this large, this is 172 scale. I wonder if these are for sale or actually custom made by someone or by this studio. Oh, Surpass Hobby and Gap RC as well. Ah, the miniature container maker. But all these are larger than white thin scale. Oh, Remo Hobby. So basically all the hobby grade RC companies are here. Which is why I'm so happy. Oh, Hobby Plus, our friend. Ooh, very big. Good looking engine plate. Uh, servo. So many model brands here. Kaunang. Oh, the Kaunang battery. Racing that tank here, so low profile. 
Oh, the RC tank makers, and then that thing there as well. The Eligu 3D printer manufacturer and Sunjun Anun Force RC technology. Quite a funny name. Oh, last year off road RC cars. Oh my god. And this looks like all uh, metal parts. It's insanely big. I think this uh, one fifth scale or one four. This is really super expensive to develop. So killer body really makes some killer bodies and I wonder if it's licensed already now because you can see modules and very highly detailed racing Super GT body shell like Denso whirling there as well. So probably they have got license at its looks. I mean not just the branding but also the body is more detailed now. I like that one. Uh, 34 the GTR logo. Very very nice. I have a silver one. But blue looks super nice. Hmm. Killer body. They've come a long way. <laughs> Team of them all going together. With a matching outfit. I think they're all team of Heng Lung storming. Woo! Look at that big one. Wow! Pulling a cannon. So you can find amalgam in China also. This is one of 199 MG1. A big piece, 1x scale, I believe. There's also this Ferrari new Daytona. Very sexy headlight. Because it's retractable. And a porty. The auto art here as well. So this is monocar seller. This large scale. Wow, I need a jackpot to own all this, man. Look at that color. That's my favorite color. And this exists in the actual spec. There's one YouTube video about it. During delivery. Hey, that's the US version of Kuntash, right? With those spoiler. Wow, this is insane. Crazy. What is it? LB? Oh, new version of LB Walk. This is more like a robot style. We have a big Rolls Royce. Outer space, and that's inspired by an uh, interstellar movie. What the heck? They actually make this large scale model of this turbine engine <laughs> crazy. It looks like 3D printed to me, it's still very insane. So Laro is here 
year as well. I was told that they're already in the market for two, three years and Rallo is a new brand name that you just started using last year. So I think you have seen their 917 over here, the high speed cars, there's multiple specs. You see, there's a top chassis, this is a carbon fiber chassis. Also, there are seven types of uh, motor that you can use on this. There are also this buggy, uh, truggy, and with rather conventional chassis, basically about the same as basically with uh, rather same chassis design and arm design as in the market. Guys, so I didn't really look at this in the beginning, but when I get close, I see that these are 3D printed. These are all 3D printed and it's massive. So for example, I checked with them, this one costs like uh, about 20 plus 27 K US dollar. So far, for now, they are renting this, but you can buy it as well. It's freaking crazy because if you 3D print, it takes a freaking long time and then you have to sand it and paint it and the boss himself actually paint it and process all this by himself but well, of course he didn't print it himself he got a 3d printing factory to print all this this is crazy man such a big model look at the scale this is like what a life-size sort of transformer but it's 3d printed in this sort of scale this is insane man China people are crazy Look at this This is 3D printed 3D printed At this sort of scale And then I've forgotten one most important thing Which is reviewing this new trailer from WPL Finally So from here what I can tell you now is that uh, The rear gate can be remotely controlled There's a specially designed gearbox here That will be powered by the winch channel from your Raspberry tree and then there's a linkage that will push and pull the gate at the back to go up and down then you can see the hook here uh, if I remember well you pull this to release your trailer and to attach it back you just need to press it down and then it will be held on to it very smart design and also uh, how will it be sold so the tentative plan now there are three uh, the first one will be uh, a kit version of the entire trailer together with the rear platform that you can uh, mount it onto your B36 then the second one would be the entire kit which is the trailer including this uh, B36 trailer and the rear platform to pull the trailer the third option would be entire KM model so the trailer and a KM version of this B36 that you can pull a trailer so that's it so hope you like this video this is a 30 minutes video that took me a long time to edit so subscribe if you haven't done so i'll definitely let you know when this trailer is available in the market so just subscribe and uh, stay tuned bye click the left thumbnail for latest video or smash the subscribe button on the middle of the screen so i'll see you on the next video bye <laughs>